Welcome to my Battlefield 4 Assault Weapon tier list. You may find this useful if you are a new player to Battlefield 2021, or if not, I don't know. I'll be running through each of the weapons pretty quickly in the order that you unlock them in the game, including the DLC weapons. If you agree or disagree with any of my selections, leave a comment down below. Oh, and while you're at it, if you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go. First up we have the AK-12. This is the starting assault weapon. It's honestly not great, but it's also not the worst. It's got quite a slow rate of fire and very manageable recoil, so it's kind of just meh. I can see why DICE decided to make it the starting weapon for assault. C tier. Oh, it's the Scar H. This gun is simply a lot of fun. It has a slow rate of fire, but it packs a punch. It has the potential to two-tap someone in close quarters, which is very good. Uh, it's recall can be tough to manage at first, especially on console, but if you practice enough, it becomes far more predictable. Uh, the thing is absolutely going to shred at most distances. Great gun, S tier. Angle grip recommended. Now we have one of my favourite guns in the game, the M416. This thing is the jack of all trades. Decent fire rate, minimal recoil, a super quick reload time. It holds its own at close range and performs very well at medium to long range. Love it, A tier. The SAR-21. To be honest, this is a super underrated gun. Although I have seen nerf guns fire faster than this thing, there is something about it. It has virtually no recoil, like none. So slap on a 4 time scope and go to work on some snipers. Decent weapon, B tier. Next, unfortunately, we have the AK. If you are watching this, you have been killed by a sweat dominating with this thing. I really don't need to say much more. God gun, S tier. Ah uh, yes, it's the AEK's younger brother, the FAMAS. This gun is just living in the AEK's shadow. Yes, it has a slightly higher fire rate, but there's a few more issues. You only get 25 bullets in the mag and it has a painfully slow reload time. There's simply no point to picking this over the AK. Unlucky mate, D tier. The Org A3. It's just one of those guns that fall into the 700 RPM fire rate vibe. It's nothing special, but its recoil pattern makes it fun to use, I guess, B tier. So DICE couldn't figure out how to nerf the M16A3 from Battlefield 3, so essentially they just made it a burst fire weapon in this game. It has good stats, especially when you learn how to maximise the burst and get a high rate of fire, but I don't like burst fire weapons. Yuck, C tier. The CZ805 is the AUG A3, but without the fun recoil, C tier. What even is a QBZ? E tier. Ah, here we go, a competitor. The Ace-23 has always been one of the top weapons in Battlefield 4. Like the M416, this gun does everything but slightly better. Yes, it may lose to the AEK up close, but in every other situation, this is the gun that I would want and you should want. Not to mention that DICE patched the game ages ago and gave it a 35 round magazine. Uh, God knows why, so it's even better now. Great gun, S tier. Now we are entering into DLC territory. With the second assault DLC came the F2000. I never really liked this gun that much, it just wasn't something you would take over the Ace 23. But the gun comes with a special sight that looks absolutely ridiculous. It's too much fun to use, funny looking B tier. I like the L85, I really do. 
it's very similar to the M416, but it's a bullpup weapon, so inherently it has a slower reload time. So I can't put them in the same tier. Sorry mate, B tier. Remember what I said about the SAR-21? The AR-160 is that, but better. It has a higher fire rate of 700 RPM. Yes, I know what I said about guns with the 700 RPM fire rates. But look, this thing has no recoil at all, and a much faster reload time than the SAR-21. Super underrated A tier. There's a trend here of guns that are very similar. The Bulldog and the SCAR H. These are the only two weapons with a higher damage threshold. The Bulldog has a higher fire rate than the SCAR, making it very deadly at close range. Yes, it does have a 20 round mag, but its reload time is decent enough that that's not always an issue. Not to mention that it sounds cool. I'm gonna do it. I like this weapon, S tier. Finally, the last weapon to be added to the game. I think it came in a guns pack or some shit. It's the AN-94. I'm gonna have to make an exception to my burst fire hatred here. This thing has a two round burst, but it kills super quick. If you're accurate and you master the burst, this thing can be really competitive. A tier. All right, that's it. That is my complete assault weapon tier list. Again, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Leave a like on the video if you want to see another tier list for another class. Thanks for watching.